hi so let's read the statement and then we will try and solve it so the statement says a boy is one third as old as his father 12 years hence he will be half as old as his father determine the present age of the boy and that of his father right so this is an age problem and this problem I'm going to solve using two methods one is using one variable and in second method we will use two variables make two simultaneous equation and then we will solve them right so now first let's concentrate on the method in which we are going to use only one variable so in this method I'm going to create one table so let me write father's age and then I'm going to write son's age this is at present if we assume father's age as X a boy is one third as old as his father so what will be the son's age son's age will be x by 3 right yes and after 12 years what will be father's age father's age will be x plus 12 and son's age will be x by 3 which is his present age plus 12 right these are their present ages this is the present age of father and after 12 years 12 will be added to this and this is the present age of son so after 12 years 12 will be added to this right so these are the ages of father and son after 12 years and what is the relation between them they're saying after 12 years hence he will be half as old as his father right so son's age which is x by 3 plus 12 after 12 years this will be 1 by 2 that is half of father's age after 12 years right so now let's solve it if we take LCM on the left hand side LCM will be 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 so X plus 12 doesn't have any denominator so we can write 1 as its denominator 3 divided by 1 is 3 and 3 multiplied by 12 is 36 this is equal to X plus 12 by 2 right yes so now let's cross multiply it like this so this 2 that is in the denominator of the right hand side will get multiplied by the numerator of the left hand side so we will get 2x plus 36 multiplied by 2 is 72 this will be equal to x multiplied by 3 is 3x plus 12 multiplied by 3 is 36 right so now let's use our transposition so we will get 3x minus 2x will be equal to 72 minus 36 right that is x is equal to 36 right so what is x over here x is father's age so father's current age is 36 and son's current age is one third of 36 that is 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 so these are the ages of father and his son at present 
at present father is 36 years old and son is 12 years old so this was the method using one variable and now I am going to discuss a method in which we are going to use two variables one as father's age another as son's age we will make two simultaneous equation and then we will solve them so now again we have a clean slate and now we will solve this using two variables so if we assume that father's age as x and son's age as y right what they are saying they are saying a boy is one third as old as his father so the age of son which is y is actually one third the age of father which is x right and from here if we multiply both sides by 3 we will get x is equal to 3y right yes we are going to call this as equation number 1 and what they are saying in the next statement the next statement they are saying 12 years hence that means after 12 years he will be half as old as his father so after 12 years what will be son's age son's age will be y his present age plus 12 and father's age will be x plus 12 right and what they are saying they are saying after 12 years son's age is half of father's age right yes and now let's since we have this 2 in denominator so now let's multiply both the sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 in the denominator so we will get 2y plus 24 is equal to x plus 12 right let's call this equation number 2 but what we have in equation number 1 in equation number 1 we have relation between x and y where x is equal to 3y so if we put x equal to 3y in this place in the right hand side of the equation we will get 2y plus 24 is equal to 3y plus 12 right yes and if we solve it further we will get 3y minus 2y is equal to 24 minus 12 that means y is equal to 12 and what is y y is age of son so son is 12 years old right and what is father's age father's age is x and from equation 1 x is equal to 3y so if we put the value of y as 12 in this equation we will get father's age as 3 multiplied by 12 that is 36 years right so father's age is 36 years so these are our solutions 12 year which is son's age and 36 years which is father's age right so if you remember these values are very much same as we found in our previous method so it's completely up to you which method you find easy or which method you want to practice but I will advise you to practice both the methods because both of them are very important.